The misery continues in the Philippines one week now since a devastating typhoon smashed into the island nation. Authorities now raising the death toll to 3,600. And that number is expected to rise. Some 600,000 people out of their homes. And unlike here, where insurance and FEMA help make things right here for most, most of those 600,000 are likely to end up homeless. The U.S. is helping with relief efforts and other groups trying to get food, water, medicine where it's needed, along with tools and gear to help clean up and rebuild. And for some perspective on just how challenging things are in the Philippines as we speak and how much trouble relief workers are having getting the food, the water, and the medicine to those most desperately in need, we're very pleased to be joined by Lou Del Rosario. Lou is Filipino. In fact, his brother is the equivalent of the Philippine Secretary of State. He has been trying to get assistance to the Philippines since the storm, which has been no easy task. And he is also the director of Gift of Life International, an outstanding group uh, performing really life-saving procedures um, to not just the people in the Philippines, but to trouble spots around the globe. And uh, Luz had to cancel uh, a medical mission to the Philippines because not just of the storm blew, but these people, I think people forget, they had a, an earthquake um, that was really the reason why you guys had to push back uh, the mission that you guys were going to do in the beginning of the month, right? Yes. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank for being here, Richard. Please. And give us a chance to tell you what's going on and how we can help. But as far as the mission was concerned, the mission that we had scheduled was supposed to be for November 1st. But uh, I don't know if you remember, they had a 7.2 uh, earthquake. Yep several weeks ago, so we had to reschedule that. Uh, I would have been there hmm. if not for that. Let's talk about um, your country. And I saw a piece in the paper recently where, uh, uh, for people who know from the area, uh, Elmsford Raceway, uh, that's yours. Uh, it's uh, your shop. And your manager, um, who also has a Filipino connection, that's was right. reduced to tears seeing the images played out. Um, talk about from your end, it, this isn't a spot on the map. Uh, this is this is home, a and when you see the images play out, uh, just share with people um, just how painful it is. Well, it was very painful, especially for my manager. He, he is from that area, and he has lost family members that he and the family members that he has not heard from. So it it, it really hits home when we talk about the tragedy that's going on. Uh, Erwin has been me with me for 15 years. Yep, and. Uh, so he's been working for this. So I, I really quite empathize with what his problem is. Thank God my f immediate family is fine. I have contacted them. Uh, but communication is not there. No. It's not there. So we really don't know. I mean, it, my extended family, I don't know. All right. Can you explain, uh, for again, for the layperson, w we watch the relief efforts. And again, there's great intentions. And, but stuff will sit at the airport in Manila and it won't get to some of the harder areas, um, uh, hardest areas hit. Uh, part of that, I guess, is just practical logistics, right? It's, these are remote places, unfortunately, that were in the eye of the storm. Yeah, uh, I, I got pictures, and I'm sure you have pictures of, of what happened over yep. there. Right? If you will notice, it was devastation was complete. Roads are all covered. You can't just drive through a road. I mean, it, 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 it's got debris. It, it, bridges are down, etc. So it is very, very difficult to get into the outlying areas where they really need it. Thank God for Rotary, because the Rotarians over there have figured out that by getting small planes and small boats, they're able to go to areas that have not been touched. And they're there to give food and water, which is the main thing that's missing right now. Have you gotten a chance to talk to your brother? Yes, I have. I'm, I'm curious, uh, part of what he's doing, I'm sure, is reaching out to the world exactly. um, to ask for help uh, for uh, the Philippines. Does he say the help is coming, but it's just so hard to get it there? Or what, if any, frustrations does he have right now in terms of people that have been waiting sometimes five days here for some of the basic necessities? Well, it, it, it's been very difficult, to say the least, because logistics is a big problem. Yep. Right. Uh, right now they're getting it, but the, I don't know if... Uh, we know what the scope is. Roughly, he said, it's about a $24 billion hit for an economy of the Philippines. That is a very, very big hit. <laughs> um, people I know want to help, uh, but they're not sure how. Um, 
and I, I was um, I was seeing that you explained that a dollar could feed a whole family. Um, give an idea about how much resources are not only needed there right now, but if people do want to help, the best way they can do it and where they should go to do it. Well, being a Rotarian for 30 some odd years, I've been working with Rotarians all over the world, and we are now starting uh, to give to Rotary. The Rotary has got direct connections to the Rotarians in the Philippines, where the money immediately goes to buying food and water and being distributed to the areas that are needed. Um, if you would like to donate, especially in this area, uh, you should go to Croton Rotary Club, Philippine Relief. If you can try and humanize it as best you can, please. Well, going back to my manager, he was just speaking to his, his niece over there who lost family members. They have no place to stay. Actually, no roof, nothing, because everything is just devastated. So after this whole area is done, and not so far as the immediate food and shelter stuff, like we're gonna have to rebuild. Well, um, the first things first, gotta get these people food, water, hygiene, basic necessities here, gotta treat the sick and the injured, um, and then we'll take the next challenge after that. But I know you're doing so much good work on this front here, and uh, even beyond the Philippines, uh, the gift of life here, literally uh, giving uh, children uh, around the world in places that are often forgotten a chance at life here. Lou, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you very a few much. minutes. Thank you. And we'll be right back to wrap things up.